Hi, my name is Kelsey Morris, and I'm a member of the PBIS Applications Training Team. Today I'm going to take you through a brief overview of the new features that are available with the Swiss dashboard in the Swiss 5 application. We're very excited about our current release of Swiss 5 because we value data first. And as soon as our users log into the Swiss 5 application, they immediately have this nice Swiss dashboard and they get data right at the login. Here on the Swiss dashboard, I have access to seven featured reports. I have the average referrals per day per month report, which takes into consideration the number of school days that have been attended within a given month and compares that to the number of referrals that were entered for that specific month and gives me an average number so that way I can better analyze behavioral trends and patterns over time and appropriately compare months to months. Here with referrals by time, I can easily identify which times throughout the day are most problematic within my building and which times are receiving the most or least amount of referrals. Here with referrals by location, I can easily identify which of the various locations in my building are receiving the most or least referrals. This report here, Referrals by Day of Week, is a new referral report and graph that we're featuring in Swiss 5. Here I can easily identify which of the days of the week are most problematic in my building and which days of the week are receiving the most or least amount of referrals. Here with referrals by problem behavior, I can easily identify which of the specific problem behaviors is receiving the most or least amount of refer referrals in my building and which behaviors do we need to focus on for school improvement. Below that, I have referrals by grade, which helps me easily identify which of the various grade levels in my building is receiving the most amount of referrals and which of the grade levels is receiving the least. And then finally, I have referrals by student, which helps me visually identify how many students in my building have one or more referrals, as well as which specific students have one or more referrals. From any one of these graphs featured on the Swiss dashboard, I can click one time on it, and it takes me to the reports dashboard, to where I can further analyze that specific data set with its graph, an associated data table. I can always get back to the main Swiss dashboard by going up to the blue navigation row at the top and simply clicking on Swiss. Now I'm back to the Swiss dashboard and I'm back to those seven featured reports that we were previously reviewing. In addition to those seven featured reports, I also have a list of the ten latest referrals within my building. Of this list of the 10 most recent referrals, I can double click on any single referral and open up a referral summary to get more information about the referral as well as print that specific summary. I can also use the page buttons down below to page to the next page or to page back to the previous page. Anytime I see this icon for refresh, which is located here, as well as here, here, and on the other seven featured reports, I can always click that icon and instantly generate a fresh data set for the specific feature that I'm working with. In addition to the list of referrals and the seven featured reports, I have the nice use of icons to help me navigate anywhere else that I need to go within Swiss. Let's start by talking about the icons featured here above the Swiss dashboard. I can see that I'm already located at the Swiss dashboard, but if I clicked on the Add Referral icon, that would take me to the Referral Entry workspace, to where I can begin entering a referral. Clicking on View Reports takes me to the Reporting dashboard, to where I can generate and print reports for a deeper level of analysis. Again, I can always get back to the dashboard by simply clicking on Swiss in the blue navigation row at the top. The other icon featured is the drill down icon, which takes me to the drill down workspace within Swiss to where I can generate a custom report or a custom graph. 
I also have the icon for tools, which allows me to access account settings, school settings, the various person management lists. I can also find a referral, access the student dashboard, or get more support for my work within Swiss. Anytime I click on support from the tools section, it instantly opens up a new tab in my internet browser and takes me to the PBIS application support page. Here I can search for more information and then use that new information I learn by simply clicking back on the tab for Swiss. I can have both of those things open at the same time and get the support that I need and go directly back into the Swiss application and use my new knowledge. Above those icons, I have the blue navigation row at the top. Here you see that we have the Swiss button and clicking on the drop down menu is another way to access ad referral, viewing reports, drill down, and tools. If you're a building with a subscription to check in check out Swiss, you also have the button for check in check out. Clicking on its drop down menu helps you access the check in check out dashboard, data entry workspace, reports, and tools. For buildings with a subscription to ISA Swiss, there's a button to click on that will take you to the ISA Swiss application. To the right of those buttons, I have an icon which helps me view reports, specifically either Swiss reports or CICO reports. I also have an icon that takes me to the student dashboard, which is where I can begin to analyze data at the individual student level. Next to the icon for student dashboard, I have the icon for person management, which opens up the person management workspace and allows me to work with student, staff, and non-staff records. And besides the person management, icon, I also have my main icon to log out. Anywhere within the Swiss application, I can always click on the Swiss button and return to the main Swiss dashboard. That's a brief walkthrough and overview of the new features of the Swiss dashboard within the Swiss 5 application.